about 2.5 million years ago there lived a species of monkeys in Africa they had enough food as the area was highly covered with forest they ate fruits from these trees they had long tails which helped them to swing from one branch to another their life was easy and simple but with time the climate changed drastically it turned to be a very hot and dry place due to which trees began to die they had no food to eat and no reason to swing from branch to branch as these monkeys stopped swinging their tails started to grow smaller and then over time they had no tails these species of monkeys were called apes due to lack of food these apes moved towards grasslands there were many flesh eating animals who attacked these apes they started running in fear but couldn't run faster with four limbs so they tried to run with two limbs and gradually learned to walk on their two limbs this trial made their arms shorter and less bulkier their feet became longer in size which supported their body weight while running on the ground this species who adapted themselves to run were the first pre-humans that evolved from the apes slowly the climate of the grassland also started changing and became inhabitable so they moved to eurasia and started living there these pre-humans slowly observed that the other animals attacked them when they stay alone but fear when they are in groups and so they started to live in groups as family gradually as the size of their brain increased their thinking power also increased these three humans adapted themselves to the environment and learned many things they learned to free their hands and grasp things to make tools and weapons in order to hunt animals to walk straight and speak to communicate to cover their bodies with animal skins and leaves to make fire and use it for comfortable living to domesticate plants and animals to make wheels pots etc to construct mud houses to make drawings on the cave walls and so on in this way these early humans gradually progressed and changed their way of living and this is what we call human evolution